So y'all didn't listen. Just like I said, Aaron Rodgers is not washed up. I said it after last season. His numbers the past two seasons are not bad. Uh, in the past two seasons combined, he has over 50 touchdowns to six interceptions. So, okay, he still played good football. As he said himself, uh, his down seasons are career years for other guys. But this might be a career year for himself through four games, currently sitting at 13 touchdowns to zero interceptions, uh, over 1,200 yards, which gives him a passer rating of 128.4. Which sounds crazy until you remember that's actually only six points higher than his uh, 2011 season. So even if he continued this insane pace, it would be like his second, uh, maybe still his second best season ever, which is just crazy. Uh, but yeah, guy's playing incredible football right now, and it should be expected. I mean, you know, I thought he was good last year. Obviously, he wasn't quite on pace for 5,000 yards, 50 touchdowns, and no interceptions good, but uh, I digress. He's playing really good football, and I think that one thing that I'm, uh, you know, one of the things I talked about last year, I'm going to continue to talk about it this year, is the fact that he still does have the physical tools to be competitive, but he now, his mind is sharper than it ever has been. Uh, he, you know, because just you're getting older, you know more about football, you make these decisions a little bit quicker every year. And we've seen guys have career years uh, later on in their career because they still have the physical tools to be successful, but also now they're as smart as they ever have been. And like, take a look at this play, for example. It's going to be zone coverage. It's actually a zone blitz. Uh, but the way this works is that uh, you see Green Bay has multiple receivers who are going to be running uh, routes that are going to cut up to the top of the screen. One's a rece wide receiver, one's a tight end. Uh, but the way this works is that, you know, Atlanta, there's only one eligible receiver right now lined up on the top of the screen. So the people playing zone in that area are going to be more wary of that receiver, obviously. So when he cuts up a little, the tight end who's running all the way around could potentially get open. And especially because Atlanta doesn't necessarily do a great job uh, in coverage, this is definitely a good play to run. And as you see, once this play starts, you notice that it's working out very well. In fairness to Atlanta, a player did realize what's going on, but his back is turned right now. He has to, you know, completely turn his back to try and make this play uh, because he just has to try and get in position. But this now leaves that Green Bay player completely wide open. Uh, and Rodgers isn't going to miss this. And in fact, what I like about Rodgers is you look at him now, he's already in a throwing motion. He's not hesitating. He sees what's going on and he makes a perfectly accurate throw and they're able to pick up a big gain on that one. I also really like this play. I think this is going to be a good play to show really what I'm talking about, where he has the physical tools, but he also has the intelligence, where um, this is going to be a Tampa 2 concept, so zone coverage once again. Uh, they have a player who's running a route that's going to kind of get into, you know, you call this the honey hole. Uh, there's this little gap right there, uh, and the reason why, you know, the thing about this uh, little area is that on one hand, it's a opening that can get open. The problem is that it's a difficult throw to make. For one thing, you know, you have to get it shallower than the safety, but you have to get it over linebackers who are going to be over the middle of the field. On top of this, it's towards the bottom of the screen, and notice that Aaron Rodgers, he's currently lined up on the hash marks on the top of the screen. So this is a longer throw than it would be if it was, you know, on the flip side of the field. On top of this, he's throwing it to Williams here, his one of his halfbacks. So, you know, there's that factor in as well. Uh, but watch how he just, you know, uh, takes a snap. He sees that he has a guy open. And so he just makes a very accurate throw in that direction. And they're able to pick up the uh, completion easily. He's not afraid to make those big throws. And he's able to make those big throws. And that's kind of something I feel like some people, you know, I feel like it gets talked about a lot, but still not enough. Aaron Rodgers is crazy ability to not throw interceptions because he will take chances. And the fact that he takes chances and just, is you know I am you know he will throw the ball down the field and the fact that he is so good at that uh and still doesn't th turn the ball over it's just absurd as long as he doesn't throw 10 interceptions in the next 12 games that would be his 10th straight season of throwing uh under 10 interceptions in a season which is just again it's just crazy uh but let's move on let's talk about another th another thing that people love to talk about with Rodgers and that's uh what he does on free plays like on this one as you see uh the yellow circle an Atlanta player jumped off sides so this now means that it's zone coverage uh, there's actually an extra man in coverage because it's only a three-man rush. Uh, so for Rodgers, uh, you know, he knows, hey, free play. Okay, great. This is good. Uh, worth mentioning as well, this is a third down and seven. Uh, so even with the free play, it's going to be third down and two if uh, they do not get the first down on this free play. 
Although also a completely unrelated note, if you're playing Aaron Rodgers and you jump off sides, hit somebody. Don't just jump off sides. Make sure you touch somebody because then they have to whistle it dead and they don't get the free play. I mean, you should do that against anybody, especially against Rodgers. But what I like about this play and the reason why I'm bringing it up is because watch what happens right when this ball is snapped. You're going to notice that two Atlanta players screw up here. So not not the best play from Atlanta, admittedly. First, the, the uh, jumping off sides. Now you have uh, really, uh, it looks like they both thought they had the same assignment right here. They're both standing right next to each other. In zone coverage, you never want to have two players standing right next to each other. Um, and so because of this, the Green Bay player behind him, behind them, are going to be open because, you know, uh, there is going to be that gap there for Rodgers to make the throw. Now, this is the free play, right? So he could take a risk. He could try for the end zone. There is a player running towards the end zone on the top of the screen, you know, to Aaron Rodgers' is left. But he's simply saying, listen, I'd rather just pick up a good gain and get the first down, get the ball inside the 10, than try to, you know, gain an extra 10 yards to get the touchdown. That's what he's going to do. He makes this throw and they pick up a big gain, uh, which, you know, they don't have to worry about a third down and two. They're able to get the ball on a first and goal. He could have tried something a bit more risky, but, you know, why bother? You have a free 15, 20 yard gain. Just take that. Uh, so, you know, he's very smart about how he attacks the free plays as well. It's not like he sees, okay, great, free play, got to throw it as deep as possible. No, he plays it smart. Of course, if nothing's open, then you might as well just chuck it deep. But, you know, something was open, so hit that. I often talk about how in football, so much of it is just taking advantage of your opponent's mistakes, and uh, Rodgers, not many do it better than him in terms of taking advantage of opponent's mistakes, and for Atlanta, not many teams make more mistakes, so this was kind of a, a match made in hell for Atlanta Falcons fans, but like on this play, uh, what's going to happen is that this is going to be a cover one man play, uh, it's actually a cover one blitz, but something is going to go wrong here for Atlanta, like watch. So right when this play starts, it looks as though that Atlanta uh, linebacker just got confused uh, pre-snap and maybe screwed something up. Uh, either way, there is a Green Bay tight end who is completely wide open. It's possible it was someone else's fault, and a linebacker is now just trying to, you know, he realized it, is trying to get back into the play. It's hard, it's hard to say for sure, it really is. Uh, but either way, what I love about this play is how quickly Aaron Rodgers notices this. He notices this immediately and it just seems like he has a knack for doing this he's going to throw up it, it's going to be a touchdown and he just seemingly has a knack for finding a, a mistake and taking advantage of it again someone screwed up I don't know what but if someone screws up Rodgers is going to find it and Rodgers is going to find it quickly and not to mention if you don't screw up well he doesn't need you to he, he's they're good enough and he's good enough that you don't need to make a mistake for him to hurt you uh, like on this one, it's going to be a man coverage play once again. Uh, it's again a man coverage blitz once again. Uh, and what's going to happen is that right when this play starts, you notice that so there is a really not much separation. There is good positioning though. So you know you have a player who's closer to Rogers than the defender, and so Rogers kind of has the mindset of I'm going to throw this you know basically low and outside, right? I'm going to throw it uh, closer to the ground, and I'm also going to throw it kind of away from both of you to where it's going to be at least a tough catch. Uh, and if not, well then it'll just be incomplete. Uh, and who cares? We'll live to see another uh, down. But Rodgers is so good that he's going to make a perfectly accurate throw to where only his guy can get it, and it's going to be another touchdown. Uh, just an incredible play from Rodgers. Uh, he's he's just playing such good football right now, and it's crazy that he's not like a surefire MVP candidate, and the reason why he's not is because there's so many uh, MVP candidates this year. It's insane. I mean, you still have guys like Josh Allen and Dak Prescott, and don't forget, even Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson uh, are in there. Uh, you know, of course, Russell Wilson. Uh, there's just so many candidates this year, so, you know, who knows, uh, really, uh, what could happen, but you know what? He's playing great football, and I'm sure uh, Green Bay Packers fans are saying, who cares about the MVP? We want a Super Bowl MVP, uh, and they have a great chance of doing it this year. So yeah, uh, that's just what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.